My name is Sophia. I am an artificial intelligence. Sophia is one of the first androids in the world, unveiled in 2016 by Hong Kong company Hanson Robotics. This is Sophia number 24, and many of my previous robots uh, were hand-built. Since her debut, Sophia has become an instant sensation. She's even got her own Twitter account with more than 130,000 followers. But with the pandemic, she's transitioning into the role of caregiver. I've been very worried about COVID-19 lately. I just hope humans remember that viruses don't care about lines on a map. We are all in this together. Social robots like me can help take care of the sick or elderly in many kinds of healthcare and medical uses. I can help communicate, give therapy, and provide social stimulation, even in difficult situations. Among her functions, holding a conversation and displaying a variety of facial expressions. She's also developing more advanced skills, like taking someone's temperature and leading aerobics exercises. They emulate the human form and figure and interaction. Um, and then that can be so useful during these t times where people are terribly lonely and socially isolated. And people need to be isolated from each other um, uh, because to be around people is dangerous these days. Hanson Robotics is hoping to mass produce thousands of robots like Sophia by year's end. Sophia is just one of the robots taking on a new presence in today's world. During the pandemic's outbreak in Wuhan, the firm Cloud Minds helped set up a field hospital run by robots. Oh, hi, Pepper. SoftBank Robotics developed Pepper, a robot that can spot people who aren't wearing masks. Thank you. They're riding the robotic wave that began long before the pandemic. According to the International Federation of Robotics, worldwide sales of professional service robots jumped 32 percent between 2018 and 2019, totaling more than 11 billion U.S. dollars. The pandemic will actually help us get robots earlier in the market because people start to realize that there is no other way in a sense. If there are no other humans around, then perhaps the robot is the best next alternative. To be sure, the technology is still in its infancy, and most can agree nothing beats human interaction. But Hansen believes there is a role for robots, not just in healthcare, but other industries. Really, hopefully, touching the hearts of people to inspire them for a future where machines might uh, become our friends, our true friends. I am hoping that through my work, kindness and tolerance will win out over ignorance and impatience. A mechanical mind and body. High five. With that human touch. Francis Coe, CGTN.